This YouTube series is going to teach you from start to finish how to fully rig a VTuber in Cubism Live 2D. Each of the videos is going to be targeted to a specific step or process, making it easy to jump past the ones you might not need or help you drill deeper into a skill you might want to perfect or learn a little more about. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through how to cut up your model and import it into Live 2D so you can start work immediately. As you can see here, I'm using Clip Studio Paint Pro and this is my full model and she's completely cut already. My canvas size is 2,500 pixels by 6,000 pixels and she's cut into about 230 layers total. You can add or subtract layers as you work and I often go back and add layers, edit them, change some paintwork, so don't stress too much about getting all the layers correct on the first attempt. Live 2D is really great for unorganized people like me. Now, I split my model into three groups, reference, hair, and body. I use a reference folder so that I can bring pictures into Live 2D to help me while I model. In this case, I've put in a bunch of pictures of various head angles so that I can use them to help me when I'm rigging in Live 2D. The reason my hair is in its own folder is just because I have a lot of hair layers. It's about 31 total last I counted, but I'm always adding more. And this way I can just keep organized by keeping them in their own spot. Finally, I have my body, which is split into three subgroups, my head, the upper body, and lower body. These divisions aren't required. I just found it easier to break it up like this since I have so many layers. Determining how you want to cut up your model will depend on how much movement you want it to have. The more things are cut up, the more detailed you can get it in Live 2D. For example, I have every button in shadow on a separate layer so that when I turn, I can make them shift to look a little bit more 3D. This isn't necessary and will add a lot of extra time for me, so some people may just want to keep it as part of their jacket layer. If you're unsure how much you want to cut, remember you can always overcut and combine layers in 2D, or you can come back into your paint software, cut more layers, and then import them back into Live 2D later. As I worked, I realized I need to add more layers to cover the sides of my head when I turned, so I had to add an extra. As you rig, you'll start to get a feel of where you want to add more movement and thus make more layers. Some important tips to cutting is that everything must be whole or overlap. Take my bow. Even though you can't see most of it, I've had to paint nearly the entire bow. This way, when it moves, you won't see any gaps or hard edges. When it comes to limbs like arms or legs, cut them below the knee or elbow since that's when they'll naturally bend. It's also good to back paint some of the body parts so that they overlap. In this case, I had to repaint under the knee. That way, when I turn my leg, I won't get a hard edge. This also applies to fabric, as I did here with the skirt. You can check if you've done enough overlapping by using the Mesh Transform tool in Clip Studio Paint, and then pretending to move it like you would in a rig. It's common for your head to have many layers since that's where all of your expressions happen. Here, I cut every bit of the eye into its own layer, which is important if you want to add floating bits or extra animations. But again, that's personal choice. The later videos in the series will show you how I fully animated these eyes in particular, but if you're curious for now, each of my eyeballs is about 30 layers each. My mouth is 13 layers and includes a tongue out expression and pouting layers. I'm going through each layer here, but feel free to pause or slow down the video if you want to take a closer look. Again, I'm going to go more in depth as to how you use each of these layers and what they're for when we get to the mouth rigging video of the series. The final section I wanted to cover is the face. Breaking the face up into multiple layers is quite important for making it look like your model's head is actually turning. As you can see here, I have my two ears, the outline, my face, a pink shading, blush, and then a clip mask. This clip mask is a dot with some blurred edges. I'll use this as a masking tool for when I turn my head to get rid of lines that cross over my neck, so it's good to have a few of these on your canvas. We'll be making a lot more use of them later on. Once you have all of your parts on separate layers, you need to make sure they're all named correctly. There should be no spaces in any of your layer names, and all of your layers should be set to either normal, multiply, or screen. No other layer styles are transferable into Live 2D, unfortunately. If that's all set up and ready to go, just save your file as a PSD, and then finally open Cubism Live 2D. When you first open Live 2D, it's going to look like this. Incredibly blank, now there are two ways to get your model onto this Live 2D canvas. The first way to go is to go to File, Open, and then load your file and it should pop in. Or just open up your desktop browser in another screen and drag and drop the file right onto your canvas. If you drag and drop your model in, you'll end up with this little pop-up window. Since this is our first time, we're gonna to wanna to click on Create New Model with a PSD file and OK. From here, we'll ask you what resolution size you would like to work in. It'll auto pick a size based off of the components of your PC. And for me, it's suggesting a half preview. 
You can go to a fourth or an eighth if you find that your computer is moving a little sluggish, or you can go full scale if you want to see things in detail. But this is not a really important thing to worry about right now. I would just go with what's recommended. And then as you're working, there is a toggle and you can switch between them as freely and as often as you want. From here, you can see my model has now popped in. She might look like she's missing a few bits, but that's fine. It's just because they're hidden over here. So you can see my layers are slightly hidden, but as I come in, they are all here, every single thing. My hair is in front of my body, but that's because any type of masks don't come in. But if I just hide that, you can see, oh, there's my hair. We'll have to fix a few clipping masks. Like here, her chin isn't clipped, but we'll show you how to deal with that. But for right now, look at this. Your model is in Live 2D and you're ready to start work. In the next video, we're gonna go over everything in this UI, explain to you all the little bits and buttons, and hopefully you'll be rigging your models sooner than you know it.